In this video, we are going to create a very interesting bot. This bot is typically called a drip campaign bot or an auto retargeting bot. So the nature of this bot is that we are going to sequence three follow up messages in a gap of four hours between each template. When a first template gets delivered via a broadcast or via chat using an agent manually sending a template to the customer. We are going to create the bot. The bot would basically sequence three follow up messages in a gap of four hours. Sounds simple. So let's head over to our bot studio where we are going to create this bot. We have named the bot. Now, what is the trigger point for this bot? When the first template that we are going to use in our broadcast, when that template gets delivered, then the sequence of messaging should start. So the starting point or the trigger of this bot would be on template delivered. So on template delivered, we are going to select our very first template. This is the very first template which we are going to use in our broadcast. So the moment this get template gets delivered to our customer, the bot would get triggered. Unconditionally, we can sequence the messages. How do we ensure that between this particular trigger and the next action which is sending the second template. In order to sec sequence the next three template, we will have to come to the action section and select on send template and select our second, third and fourth template in the sequence. Now, in between template one and two, if we want to give a four hour gap, how do we give it? Again, in the bot itself, in the action component, we have something called a time delay. Now, we are going to use this time delay to give a four hour gap in between these two templates. So four hours, zero, zero minutes, and 10 second gap we are giving. So when this template gets delivered unconditionally, a four hour gap would be sequenced following which we are going to deliver template number two. Now, as I had said, there would be a sequence of three messages, right? So we can go ahead and click on duplicate and give another four hour delay, followed by which we are going to use another template and hence, so forth, we are going to continue this journey. And with the final four hour delay, we are going to select our final template as well. Awesome. So now we have sequenced all the templates. We are going to ensure that all the variables in the templates are properly mapped. Otherwise, this template would not go. Okay. We can even pass static variables in the templates in the bot. For example, in Republic Day, we can pass, let's say 26%, right? Awesome. Now this particular sequence has been created. First of all, we would want to save this. Now, it would be immensely difficult in this video to show you in the gap of four, four hours. So what we are going to do is after saving this, we are going to change the bot sequence to a gap of 10, 10 seconds. And the moment we'll trigger this bot, we'll start seeing the magic. We have changed the sequence to 10, 10 seconds for testing it out and we click on save. 
Now, as you can see, this was the first template to be delivered. So we will close the bot now. We will head over to our customer and we'll manually for this video, send the very first template, which will start sequencing the remaining templates as per the bot. So we have sent the first template. We will come to double tick API number and we can see we have received the very first templates. In a gap of the next 10 seconds, the next template would automatically be delivered to the customer by the bot. So we are going to wait for 10 seconds wherein the bot sends the second message in the sequence. On the count of 9, 8, 7, 6, the third template is also being sent. And again, after a gap of another 10 seconds, we are going to also receive the fourth template in the sequence. Now, we can go and check the particular bot run. If we click on the three dots, click on view recent bot runs, we can see that which bot got triggered on template delivered and after the time delay, how the sequence of templates got delivered. So in case that you face any issue where one of your templates has not been delivered to a customer, you can always come and check the recent bot runs. This is how you can sequence your messages, retarget your customers and run your drip campaign successfully. If you want to further continue this bot journey to make this bot more comprehensive, what you can do is also make a branched journey from over here in interested or on callback. You can link this with different other template messages or interactive messages or interactive list messages from the action sections as we have seen in the previous videos. Hence, we are going to now move on to creating more advanced and complex bots. So this is just the beginning. Stay tuned till we complete the entire module. Thank you for watching.